So Leos, welcome to your love relationship and romance reading. Um, I, I feel like the theme of this month for you guys is like finding new ways to adjust to an existing situation. I feel like that's just the theme for, you know, the general reading and also for the love reading. So I feel like many of you might be reconnecting with somebody from the past and you're trying to find new ways to work with that other person's energies, okay? So that can be, okay, figuring out what has worked in the past or what didn't work and try to either enforce it or avoid the things that, that didn't work. And so you're taking a little bit of a creative approach this month to really try hard and to work hard to accommodate other people. And... Um, I mentioned earlier, the relationship sector seems really amazing. It seems really stable, really, really good. And I'm also feeling like you have somebody in your life that is, you know, they're, they're stubborn, very, very stubborn. And um, they're trying to hold everything together. You know, they, they, they have uh, the appearance that they're really strong that they've got it, but I feel like deep down they are a little bit of a softy. So you need to treat that person with kitty gloves. You need to, you know, show them their appreciation. It seems like they're holding up the burden of the relationship. That's what it feels like to me. So give them the the appreciation, give them the thanks and give them the emotional support. Um, ask what they need and ask them to delegate and ask them, you know, if there's anything that you can do for them because you, you're dealing with someone who's very proud and dignified. They will never ask for help or never take advantage of things until, unless they absolutely need it, okay? So I feel like you're with some, someone who's really, really good. Um, let's see what's coming in here. So new passion surfacing for you guys. Okay, a blast from the past. Um, be really, really careful if you are already in a relationship encountering a blast from the past. Just please be very, very careful. Because what I have here is Ten of Swords and the Tower, okay? So this is not a month to do things if you don't want to be found out. Does that make sense? I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? So I'm going to pull out, I think, two more cards for you guys to see what's happening here with the Tower and the Ten of Swords. What is this in relation to? Okay. So... Let me talk about this first of all. I have here the Nine of Pentacles. It shows up in the reverse position. And I have here the Six of Cups, okay? So the foundation is something that you know to be true. It's the, the thing that you can rely on, that you can build upon, that you, you, you trust and you believe in. What we have here is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is a really beautiful energy. This is like two people who really not only love each other, but they like each other. They admire each other. They care about each other. They want the best for each other. And uh, in a way, it can denote to me childhood innocence, like looking at a situation, idealizing the situation, idealizing the partner. But in reality, the reality of it is we have here the nine of pentacles in the reverse. This is a lot of financial uh, readjustment that needs to happen in order for this relationship to be realistic in order for it to you know pass that common sense test okay so you have a person in your life that you really really care about and it feels like when you're with them you don't sense any malice from them you trust them 100% with your life they likewise they don't sense any malice from you they would never do anything to hurt you vice versa you to them and I feel like the energy is very beautiful, but if you look at it, ev everything is very contained in this idyllic location. And so if you see a situation like this, it usually means, you know, naive energy. It's like looking at a person through the lens of a past 
rather than through the reality of what's happening now. It's not altogether bad, but I feel like it's very idealistic. So the reality here is some of you are at a point where you are not financially stable. And I also feel like children might be interfering in your relationship, you know, might be draining your finances, might be the cause of discord between you and a relationship partner. And I'm also sensing if you are single and dating, you might have somebody who's very, very like, um, they're like this, where they're very self-sufficient. They come and go as they please. They're very unencumbered by, by life. You know, they create situations in their life where they're not bogged down with pets, children, family obligation. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's really, really independent and you're trying to make a relationship work, but it seems like it might be a little bit difficult, okay? And then at the same time, you give a lot of yourself to the other person, but the other person, it seems like they're holding back, they're keeping scores, or they are a little bit more on the selfish end and they think about themselves first. They, they don't see the relationship as, you know, equal contribution. They start to take care of themselves first. So I feel like you might still really care about this person, but all of these little warning signs are kind of nagging at you. What you're thinking about here, I feel like this is, might be the same person, is you're trying to decide, you're trying to decide you're trying to decide with this person. This is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. We have here the queen of pentacles. It shows up in the reverse position. So you're dealing with someone who's a little bit extravagant or who's a little bit financially unstable. They might, for whatever reason, keep some information hidden from you. They might not be truthful or revealing about their financial assets. They might have blemishes on their financial record. And so if, for example, you are together and you're trying to buy a house, they might not tell you, oh, by the way, I had a repossession, you know, two years ago. They might not tell you, oh, by the way, I defaulted on a few loans a few months ago, or I filed for bankruptcy. So there is lack of trust between you and another person as it relates to finances. So they might not be an earth sign, but there is a major lack of trust between you and this person because they're not being very straightforward and forthcoming about finances and how the two of you can join your finances together. So I feel like you have some doubts here. And um, which brings us to the present situation. We have here the death card. This is like revisiting something from the past, okay? Talking things over. It's not done and over with. You need to revisit it. You need to ask some questions. You need to bring some truth to the light. And it's linked up as well with the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a very, very passionate, exciting energy. It indicates like very strong physical attraction that you have with another person where you feel, I'm sensing honestly, many of you are kind of swept away by the romance, the chemistry, and the passion, and you're seeing a person in a very idealistic light, okay? And I feel like it might be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel that once the passion and the chemistry fades, the person is proving to be less than stellar. And then I'm also sensing as well, you want to really look at the root of the problem. Is there true compatibility? Okay. Um, I feel like there are some major financial discussions that needs to be flushed out between you and another person. Okay. Especially if you're thinking about moving in together, buying a house together and things like that, because I feel like there might be, you know, uh, one person seems to me like one person has children and then the other person doesn't and the other person doesn't because they've never wanted to have children so there might be you know discrepancies or disagreements about that and you might feel like oh we love each other we'll work it out but I feel like this is the month where the reality of it starts to hit 
that one person has children because they love children and then the other person chose not to because they don't want children. So I feel that element coming into the picture where you need to tweak your relationship a little bit. And then I'm also sensing as well finances affecting the relationship. So on the one hand, there's great chemistry, great passion, and you are really on the same page with another person romantically. But I feel like it's all the other things that make up a relationship, you know, that might be difficult. It doesn't feel to me like you can't fix it, but I feel like it's a difficult fix. Um, in the past, what we have here is the Princess of Cups. This is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a uh, water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is someone who's very loving, very beautiful. Like they have a really good heart. They're very trusting, very innocent. They would not wish harm on anybody. And I feel like, you know, they're they're really likable, very accommodating. They want the best for you. And it's linked up as well with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is things are going really, really well for this person. I feel like, you know, because they have such a good and pure heart, they're being rewarded by the universe. That's what it feels like to me. So if you're with this person, Things are really moving, growing, escalating for them in a very positive way. And if you're, you know, I'm going to say this because it did come out. Things are going really well for them financially, professionally. And if you're in a space where things are not going for you financially and professionally, you're going to compare yourself to your partner and you're going to feel like, am I good enough for my partner? Is he or she going to look down on me because they're doing really well, but I'm not? So should I relinquish my partner so that he and she can find someone that is worthy of them? Don't get into that negative talk, uh, self-talk, okay? Because I feel like they're with you for a reason and they're going to be with you no matter what, okay? So it's like, um, you know... Peaks and valleys happen in everybody's lives, right? So you might be going through a valley point where you feel a little bit low and they're at a peak. So if you're together energetically, we're supposed to help each other. And then the next time they're at a valley, you're going to be the one to step up and help them. So don't feed into this negative self-talk thinking that you're not worthy or you're not good enough as long as you truly, uh, truly love someone or truly love someone then I feel like the relationship is fine, okay? So I feel like if you have that person, things are going really well for them. There might as well um, be some new movement happening, change in location, change in residence, buying property together. So that's going to be on them. What's coming into the future position is we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is really telling you to really look at relationships, okay? If something is not working, I feel like it's really important to fix it so that it doesn't escalate. And we also have the tower, which is a major change that's happening. So old ways of doing things cannot be brought into the future. It cannot, it's not working anymore. Um, if you are straddling between a water sign and an earth sign, so a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there is temptation. I feel like there's temptation to step out of the relationship. It's like you're in one relationship, you have a blast from your past, which is possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And there is passion chemistry that is reignited and it's not gonna lead to a good place, okay? So please be careful about that. So I pulled out two cards for you just to figure out what it's about. And I have here, this is you no longer like hoping, waiting for things to get better. This is you trying to make a move. And a lot of the times when you move too fast or when you feel very isolated, this is isolation. This is like not making connections, feeling, feeling very, um, feeling like a hermit, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you're, you're not able to connect with people around you. And if you feel frustrated and you feel like you're going to do whatever it takes to get out there and make connections, the connections you're making might not be healthy. 
nor are you discriminate because you're desperate for that connection. So be very, 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 very careful about that, please, okay? Don't hurt somebody that, that loves you. Just, you know, maintain the status quo, I feel. This is not a month for drastic changes, okay? So if you find yourself feeling, I'm really unhappy with where I am right now. I need to make a move. I need to do it now. I feel like that energy can work against you. So make decisions in moderation. And then as well, if there's temptation here, coming from past people, you want to be very careful because what you see is not what you get. You're dealing with somebody who's a little bit more on the self-serving end, and I feel like your eyes are not open to it, okay? Um, if you're dealing with an earth sign for this month, I feel like, you know, you want to be patient with them, but at the same time, you want to be aware of all the, the, if there are red flags, you need to be aware of that. You need to make note of that. Make a mental note so that you're not blinded by, by everything else that's going on. For those of you who are single and looking, there is new passion, new chemistry, but I feel like the energy is very fleeting. It might be a one-night stand. It might be a short stint. The other person might be just looking to have a good time, okay? So I feel like it might be very, very emotionally uh, cathartic on your end. I feel like they're not at a point where they want to give up their bachelor life or their singlehood in order to be in another relationship just yet. So be careful about that. It seems fun and very exciting, but I just don't feel it panning out to be long-term, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that, Leos. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.